So here I am at my go-to shop. This is Living HQ in West Bridgeford in Nottingham. They're the suppliers for me, French Chic. And this video today is going to show you Alfresco painting garden furniture. So I'm just picking up, no sponsorship from anybody. I've had to pay for this myself. I'm just going to use the card reader in a moment and pay with contactless. I'm just getting the paint. And then a bit later on, I'm going to show you how to spray outside garden furniture that's a little bit plasticky using an HVLP sprayer to transform them into something a bit spanky. Well, it's not spanky because that would be another tin of paint, wouldn't it? Spanky panky, whatever it is, spanky pants. I'm going for steel grey, steel teal, blue. We'll call it blue. So, see you in a bit. Morning, fellow painters and decorators of the interweb. And I'm going to say fellow painters and decorators of the interweb and the DIYers. And you're going to say, Phil, why are you saying DIYers? I said, because today I'm using a product that I'm not saying is a bit of a laughing stock in the painting and decorating main trade, but this is a product, French Chic, that, well, we say DIYers use. Now, if you've followed my channel before or you've seen me before on um, YouTube, there's a link there to where I've actually tested this against two of the top main brands. One being Zinzer All Coat Exterior, another one being Bedek MSP. And I used it on a piece of a sample board of UPVC off a door. And I've tested it against those two, the Alfresco, because this is a paint that you can use outside. I've tested it on a board and look at that link. Uh, to see how it covered, to see how it um, reacted with the brush, all the usual stuff. And then I did a 29 day later test on um, a scratch test. Scratch testing it against the MSP Bedek and the Orco Texteria um, Zinza. Now what came out, one of the best ones, was this one. Bedek was also equally as good as this, but this stayed on. It didn't scratch off. Brilliant. Really liked it. So I thought I'd come back and try it. I've got, I'm at home, I've got some garden furniture. I don't know whether you can see because I've got the sun on me. It's a nice day. It's what do you do when it's a nice day, you do garden furniture painting. So what I'm gonna do, I'll move my camera around so you can see it a bit better, but let's just say I've got the Alfresco and I've got it in steel teal. Now I do have spray equipment. I've got an HVLP. I don't know whether you can just see just down there, which is um, like a conventional spray gun. This is, HVLP's got a, a turbine spray um, machine to force the air. It's like a glorified hair dryer. Now, I'm gonna be spraying it. Now you're gonna to say to me, those that know about the spraying, I'm spraying it with a 1.5 needle. I've not thinned it, because when I got it out and mixed it all up, it seemed quite thin. Now, having brushed it previously, I know it goes on nicely. So I'm hoping that spraying these garden furniture which are they're only cheap I'll say cheap a couple of hundred quid for two single chairs a little two-seater sofa and a bit of a, a table with a glass top so if it goes wrong on me I'm not going to worry because it's not an expensive garden furniture set but I'm hoping that by the time I put this steel teal on it's going to look an expensive garden furniture set so I'm going to show you now me spraying it all up and let's see how we go housekeeping I have got a mask, I've got a proper mask, so I'm going to be putting that on and um, I'm just going to get my spray gun set up. I'm going to start spraying and you'll see what I'm doing. So fingers crossed, this is going to be a good one. Right, just moved you around a bit. The sun is lovely. I can't believe it, how much sun we've got at the moment. First thing in the morning. Now I've just moved you around so you can see the chair. Now all I'm going to do is just do it simple. I'm not making a big thing out of this. I'm going to start with the back, work my way around, go across the fronts and all like that. Now they were jet washed um, a week ago, so I know they were clean. Just a little bit of fallout from trees, a bit of you know, broken leaves and everything like that. I've just gone around and dusted them all off, so they're good to go. I've got some little um, trestle stands from B&Q, the Stanley ones. They're lovely, they fold up quite neat. 
you can get them for about 30 quid or use whatever you want so what I'm going to do now is get my mask on, get my sprayer, I've tested it, I know it sprays nicely, done a bit of sample card, colours lovely and I'm just going to do a light coat. Now hopefully it will dry quite quick and I might be able to build up with another one, so we'll see. But don't fear, I'm not going to be showing you how to spray all the garden furniture, I'm only going to spray one for you because we'll try and keep this under 10 minutes. So see you in a few. Here we are, just move out the sun. You can probably just see. Can you see? This has had a nice coat, not too not too heavy because I don't want to pile it on and it starts crosling. And I must say, I'm quite impressed. I'm gonna give it another coat because obviously I've probably not caught it all. When, when you do your spraying, still do your 50-50 overlap even though you've got HVLP. Look at that colour, it's beautiful. I talk about different. Yeah, I like that. Um, still do your overlap on your sprayer. Don't put too much on. I'm using that 1.5 needle, which is quite small. Um, you can dial it at the back to allow more paint f f through the needle for the paint flow. Um, I've kept me, because I'm outside, I've not been too worried about overspraying a bit of bounce back if the um, air pressure was a bit too um, vigorous. I'll say vigorous, it was actually all right. It pushed it through nicely. It wasn't too much air, I didn't need to turn it down. Um, but no, that's, that's covered nicely and it's starting to dry off. So with it being sprayed, it'll probably dry quicker than being brushed. So with it being sprayed, it'll dry and I can get a second coat on probably in the next half an hour then I can let it dry move it and I'll start on the other ones so for now I'm going to say I'm quite impressed with how that sprayed and as I say this is the Frenchique Alfresco straight out the tin and it's a 750 mil tin because unfortunately I'll say unfortunately nobody's thought that when you're doing garden furniture and bigger projects particularly with a painter and decorator who's a professional like I am Two and a half litre tins would probably be brilliant um, because this sort of stuff, when you start doing garden furniture spraying, I'll move out that some, you want to have enough paint and buying 250, 500, and 750 mil tins at a time is just, it's not cost effective. So if French Chic's watching this, get this al fresco in two and a half litre tins because this, this is the way forward for me. This, this seems to have gone on better than using Orco exterior. You know, the Zins are Orco exterior. Plus, your colour range is fantastic. So, that's been moan. Uh, oh, pardon, what did somebody just say? Where did I buy the paint from? Right, I'm gonna give her a plug because she's lovely. Ivana, a living HQ in West Bridgeford in Nottingham. She's brilliant. She supplied me with this. Um, I went into the shop as you see at the beginning of the video, um, that was yesterday. Uh, picked the colour I wanted out, the colour card and the colour she'd got. I really like this one and I've bought three tins and three tins, I think roughly about 20 quid a tin and that's the 750s. Um, £60 pound for garden furniture painting. I'm not going to use all of that because I've still got a lot and I did say if I don't use it all I'll take it back. If I need any more I'll go and pick some more up but fingers crossed I should be alright with this. Now I'll see in a bit when I've done another coat and I'll show you what it looks like finished. So thanks for listening, we're going to keep this under 10 minutes. There we have it everybody, hope you can hear me outside. I didn't want you to be sitting all the way through a garden furniture set all being sprayed so after I did the first seat I put that to one side let it dry off with that first coat uh, then it had the second coat but in between I just brought the other chairs and a little bit of a table and we just did those in between move them around it dried quite quick because obviously it's sprayed it sprays and dries ever so fast because spraying it's ever so quick brought the big one down done that 
give it a nice coat. The first coat, always just dial the needle down so I'm not putting so much on. Give it a waft coat, call it a waft coat, so not trying to get it to cover. Let it dry, then come back with a nice coat uh, that makes it cover. So that's where we are, all of them are done. So the chair's been done, the two-seater sofa's been done. If you can just see there, we've got the two chairs there, two chairs there and a bit of a table. All done and dusted. Now. I think curing time, let's call it three to five days, might be a little bit longer. So I don't want to be sitting on these with buckles or anything just in case it scratches off because it's still curing. There is cushions that go on these. Let's move that to the sun. There is cushions that go, go on these, so that'll give some protection. Now, just as a bit of a side note, experimenting. The two chairs, they're only jet washed and dust off, dusted off. This, jet washed, dusted off, and I used a Scotch bright pad just to scratch the surface I, I will say it probably didn't make much difference because it's such an uneven funny plastic surface it probably won't make any difference but just for the experiment that's had a bit of a key the other two haven't so I knew what I was doing there I want to try one against the other I'm hoping they'll all um, stay and stick and won't scratch off it is paint at the end of the day on a, a plasticky surface so if we get a couple of years out of them brilliant if they only get a week probably not so good but there we are really pleased sprays lovely anybody who's not used the French sheet paint brilliant paint to spray not thinned went straight through my HVLP sprayer using a 1.5 needle um, set that's with the orifice and then the needle so it's not a big needle and it sprayed beautifully so over and out thanks for listening to me try it don't knock it till you've tried it ready for the summer <laughs>